All right, so we're at my happy place. We just anchored off. I got Vicky set up with a tandem rig. She's over here jigging for some flounder. She's going to be going all the way off the point and going alongside the beach here. Uh, she'll have it to herself, casting off into the, the channel uh, to see if she can get a flounder. The last time I was here, I actually lost a really big flounder. broke me off doing that. But... Uh, So she's going to try to catch a flounder while I start to beat this brush a little bit and see if I can find some uh, fiddler crabs uh, for sheephead bait uh, under the bridge over here. So I'm going to see if I can get some fiddler crabs and uh, I'll show you what I get. That took me about 15 minutes. Got a couple good mud crabs in there too. Alright, Vicky and I are going to try to do some chicken necking see if we can't catch some blue crab for bait we got a couple minnow traps set for some mud minnows some gudgeons and we're already seeing gudgeons all over our bait when we put it out um i had a really good crab one a minute ago and realized i forgot the net so we're gonna see if we can't catch some bait all right so we've been chicken necking and we've had some pretty good luck uh, we've let several go and we've lost several at the surface of the water but I don't know if you can tell or not but these are huge these are some of the biggest ones we've ever caught um, and there's plenty of them in there with that size as you figure there's two baits at least two baits each one for for big uh, redfish and cobia so that's plenty enough for a good soak so beautiful evening cool breeze blowing uh, no mosquitoes or bugs or anything just a lot of fun doing this um, I could do this for hours just to get something to eat and, and may do that before we leave but this is plenty for bait for tomorrow. All right, so we've been here for about 35, 40 minutes. And with two traps, I guarantee that's probably, I mean, that's way more we could ever use. That's six to eight dozen very large gudgeons, very large mud meters, like really perfect size for flounder. I mean, I, I don't know what else you could ask for, but so we got plenty of those. All right, so Vicky and I get ready to head out, try to catch some flounder, just kind of check the weather with the small boat. We're really a slave to the wind. Um, we're gonna go out mainly about flounder, and it, but we've got bait for everything that we can possibly try to catch. Um, it's a heat wave weekend, heat advisories, no better way to beat the heat than come to the bay. Nice cool breeze coming off the water now. We got a southeast wind, so it's mostly coming off the ocean and across the big mouth of the bay. So it feels good out here now. I think it's going to be a stiff wind all day, 12 to 17 uh, this afternoon. So that should keep us cool. Uh, wish us luck to see if we can't put a couple flounder on the boat. <laughs> Love me some sunshine. Yeah. 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 When you're happy, I'm happy. All right, so sheephead made a fool of me back here. Missed several bites, just made a fool of me. Uh, Vicky lost probably a good flounder uh, So we're gonna go this is supposed to be one of the calmest parts of the day, so we're gonna push around the other side All right, so I just caught a good flounder. Had to go get the measuring tape. I forgot my measuring tape. Got to measure it to see if it's a keep. Look how well they blend in. Not even down underneath the sand.
See, but I would love the mouth of like creeks and stuff. There's a horseshoe crab. This came up. He just going along. Go get some spray on. This might be the... It's definitely one of the smallest flounder I've ever caught. Look at that little dinky thing. <laughs> he hit it when I first threw it out there. And then... I didn't let him have it. I just kept dragging, and I was like, well, "You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast back out in the same place." And he come back and hit it again. All right, old boy, go get big. Pull him out of the water. Let him let go before he tears your gudgeon up. A crab catching machine. You're gonna be reeling in, and all of a sudden, you're gonna look up, and there's gonna be a big old flounder on that line. Huh? I said, just a split second, you can look up and see a flounder on that line. That's the beauty about fishing, you just never know. Yeah. Feels like a flounder, too. I don't know if he's how good he is, but it's a heck of a lot bigger than that last one. <laughs> yeah, it's a flounder. He might keep. If I can get him landed. Nice. All right. That is all right. Put him over in this water, and then I'll go get them. I'll go get them. He feels heavy. I'll go get the uh, measuring tape. So, so this flounder was just, just shy of keeper. They raised it from 16 and a half to 17 and a half. If it was what it used to be, it would be a keeper, but. He just act like he don't want to do nothing. I think 
Mikey's gone. So what I'm using is, uh, and these are these are dead. I got some living ones, but uh, I don't think it makes much difference. Uh, but some mud minnows, some gudgeons, and I'm just putting them on a tandem rig. Uh, I'm pretty redneck. I just keep them in my pocket. This one's got good color to it, so it's just recently died. So, just hook it through the hard part of the head. It's dead anyway. And that's it. I don't feel real big. Nah, definitely not a keeper. Got that, went after that teaser rig again though. Probably same bag on one. Yeah, he's probably only 12 inches. I'm glad I didn't get his eye. There we go. You say you had a really big one fall on yours? I don't know how much that shows up, but that's a fully mature bald eagle right there. He been sitting over on the sandbar for the longest time. Live comp. Not a flounder. Yeah, I still got my bait. Can't complain too much. It. It's another crab. Dude, they're grabbing it as soon as it hits. Well, I mean. Ah, huge flounder. Dang. Got off right there. Lord. That was a big one. That might have been that big one Vicky saw earlier. Dang it. Yeah, that was a keeper for sure.